you, you started by quitting your job around the time your baby was being born, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tell us how that worked. Well, it didn't <laughs> seem like a great idea at the time. It, yeah. it felt like felt like a pretty stupid and vain thing to do, but uh, you know, it was sort of my daughter was just born and I'd always wanted to uh, make a living as a musician and it seemed like the last possible chance. But it was also, you know, now there's a, another person in this world who is going to learn from you and, you know, you should probably set an example and be the person that you're supposed to be. Was your wife able to like keep working and you yeah. spun it like, I'll stay home with the baby? Uh, no, no, I spun it like, I'm gonna quit my job and be a rock star. <laughs> and that she was, swallowed that, that's love. <laughs> nah, she was like, well, let's see, Mr. Fancy Pants, okay. we'll see how it goes. It's 5.30 in the morning, I'm on my way to JFK to the great city of San Francisco, where I will give the most important concert of my life. The Great American Music Hall. This is a hall where, where any American who is great may go to, to play music for as many as 400 other great Americans. I'm tired, feeling a little nervous. Uh, having a little tummy trouble, honestly, perfectly honest. Jonathan is a musician who uh, has done his entire career pretty much online. I, I guess, was it a friend of yours who suggested doing the Thing a Week podcast? It was somebody that I worked with at, at the software company that I worked with. He said, uh, he said, he said, what are you going to do after you quit? And I said, I have no idea. He said, you should write a song every week. And I said, well, that's impossible. And then how did you come up with the idea of making it into a podcast? Because you did it for an entire year as a podcast. Yeah, I, you know, it just seemed like, it just seemed like a, a convenient way to, uh, to get it out there. And, and, and more personally, it's, it's uh, you know, I'm sort of conflicted as a creative person. It's hard to be creative. It's hard to allow myself to be creative. And so the more I, I sort of face these barriers head on, these fears head on, the, the more... I imagine I'll be able to get past them. Yeah. If you're afraid of snakes, then you should hug a snake. All right, I'm, not, I, I'm, I'm not a doctor. How ready are you from Johnny the Colton? Oh, I'm so ready, man. Are you ready to have your socks soft rock right off? That's right. Uh, it's a good thing I got up at the crack of hand for this one. It's trying to desperately to avoid what it is about to do. It just wants to, it tries to go to sleep. Do I have time to pee? No? You should go now.
Last week I left a note on Laura's desk It said I love you, signed anonymous friend Turns out she's smarter than I thought she was She knows I wrote it now, the whole class does too And I'm all alone during couples skate when she skates by with some guy on her arm But I know that I'll forget Pity in her face Living in my solar dome on a platform in space Cause it's gonna be the future soon And I won't always be this way When the things that make me weak and strange get engineered away It's gonna be the future soon I've never seen it quite so clear and when my heart is breaking, I can close my eyes and it's already here. I'll probably be some kind of scientist Building inventions in my space lab in space I'll end world hunger, I'll make dolphins speak Work through the daytime, spend my nights and weekends perfecting my warrior robot race. Building them one laser gun at a time. I will do my best to teach them about life and what it's worth. Just hope that I can keep them from destroying the earth. Cause it's gonna be the future soon. And I won't always be this way. When the things that make me weak and strange get engineered away It's gonna be the future soon I've never seen it quite so clear And when my heart is breaking I can close my eyes And it's already here on earth They'll wonder As I piece by piece replace myself And the steel and circuits will make me whole but I still feel so alone Until Laura calls me home And I'll see her standing by the monorail She'll look the same except for bionic eyes She lost the real ones in the robot wars I'll say I'm sorry, she'll say it's not your fault, or is it? And she'll eye me suspiciously Hearing the whir of the servos inside And she'll scream and try to run But there's nowhere she can hide When a crazy cyborg wants to make you his robot bride Well, it's gonna be the future soon And I won't always be this way when the things that make me weak and strange get engineered away It's gonna be the future soon I've never seen it quite so clear And when my heart is breaking I can close my eyes And it's already here Long ago, in days of yore, it all began with a god named Thor. There were Vikings and boats and some plants for a furniture store. It's not a bodega, it's not a mall. They sell things for apartments smaller than mine, as if there were apartments smaller than mine. Ikea, just some oak and some pine and a handful of Norsemen. Ikea Selling furniture for college kids and divorced men And everyone has a home But if you don't have a home You can buy one there So rent a car or take the bus And lay your cash down And put your trust in the land Where the furniture folds to a much smaller size Billy the bookcase says hello So does the table, his name is Ingo And the chair is a ladder back birch But his friends call him Carl 
Ikea Just some oak and some pine and a handful of Norsemen Ikea Selling furniture for college kids and divorced men Everyone has a home But if you don't have a home You can buy one there Ikea Plywood Brushed steel Ikea Meatballs Tasty Ikea Allen Wrenches All of them for free All of them for me And I'm sorry I said Ikea sucks I just bought a table for 60 bucks And a chair and a lamp and a shelf And some candles for you I was a doubter just like you Until I saw the American dream come true In New Jersey they got a goddamn Swedish parade Ikea Just some oak and some pine and a handful of Norsemen Ikea Selling furniture for college kids and divorced men Everyone has a home you don't have a home, you can buy one there. Thank you. Hello, San Francisco. You guys are going to be in a movie. And me too, maybe, for part of it. Uh, I want you to know that I had a dream about you last night. And I wish I were making this up, but I am not. I had a dream that I was playing a concert, and I turned around, and when I turned back, the audience was gone. I wonder what that's about. Don't turn around! <laughs> yeah. All right, audience one, Colton, nothing. Uh, but you know, I, 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 we, are, we are shooting this DVD, and I, I want you to pretend that we're not shooting this and, and just be yourselves. That's what I'm trying desperately to do right now. And I can't, frankly, I cannot bear that burden alone. So, uh, you know, if you would normally sing at a, at a concert, I want you to sing. If you would normally dress up like a zombie, then some of you, some of you have, already, have already made that decision without me even having to tell you it's okay. So that's good. Um, zombification station. Oh, yeah, oh, that's very handy. If anybody wants to become a zombie, they can go over here to this table. Uh, this lady with the pink hair will, uh, like, will likely bite you and infect you. She will not, she will not eat your eyes, that's correct. Uh, I'm going to do a song now about, uh, uh, this is about uh, suburbia and being, being trapped there. <laughs> Hooray, trapped in suburbia. Uh, but really it's about a vacuum cleaner. It's called Shop Vac. Took the freeway out of town Found a place to settle down Got a driveway and a swing set and a dog Got your very own bathroom I got my very own workshop in the basement I sit around staring at the wall to wall Take field trips to our favorite mall Waiting for the day when all the kids grow up and leave us here If you need me, I'll be downstairs with the shop vac You can call but I probably won't hear you Because it's loud with the shop vac on But you'll be okay cause you'll be upstairs with the TV You can cry and I probably won't hear you Because it's loud with the shop vac on 
We hung a flag above the door Checked out the gourmet grocery store I got a mower I can ride around the yard But we haven't got real friends And now even the fake ones have stopped calling Maybe if you forget to hide the keys I'll take a ride to Applebee's Come home drunk on daiquiris And throw up on the neighbor's lawn If you need me, I'll be downstairs with the shop vac You can call, but I probably won't hear you Because it's loud with the shop vac on But you'll be okay, cause you'll be upstairs with the TV You can cry and I probably won't hear you Because it's loud with the shop back on I like the Starbucks here That's better than the other one Cause the other one's not as good They really need to put a light there Cause it's hard to turn It's hard to make a left turn When it's time to go to bed I'm still awake inside my head I'm Floating up above the house and looking down I guess I gotta go back there I guess there never was any other answer And as the freeway hums, the cars go by The headlights roll across the sky Many miles away and I can see them speeding through the dark If you need me, I'll be downstairs with the shop vac You can call but I probably won't hear you Because it's loud with the shop vac on But you'll be okay, cause you'll be upstairs with the TV You can cry and I probably won't hear you Because it's loud with the shop vac on Thank you. Everybody all right? Anybody need anything? First cake shout out. I can't, I, I can't promise you cake. So, so a while back, uh, something terrible happened, which is that some scientists got together in a room and decided... No, that wasn't the bad thing. Decided that Pluto was no longer a planet and that... A lot of Pluto lovers here tonight. Uh, but that Pluto was, in fact, a, a dwarf planet, a status which, which uh, did not even exist prior to Pluto's demotion there, too which seems like, frankly, seems like kind of a dick move <laughs> to me. I am not a scientist, of course, so I don't know. Maybe that's the kind of dick move that you pull if you're a scientist. <laughs> However, <clears throat> when, this, when this happened, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, Pluto's moon Charon wrote a love song to Pluto. Uh, and you see, you see Pluto and Charon actually uh, they're pretty similar in size as planets and moons go. Uh, in our, it makes them sort of unique in our solar system. Also, they, they revolve around each other. The, the center, the, uh, I know, the, the center of their orbits is actually between them. Uh, so you can't precisely say that, that one is the satellite and, and, and one is the planet. I thought that was kind of a romantic uh, thing. This is called I'm Your Moon. <laughs> They invented a reason That's why it stings They don't think you matter Because you don't have pretty rings I keep telling you I don't mind I keep saying there's one thing they can't change I'm your moon, you're my moon we go round and round From out here It's the rest of the world it Looks so small Promise me You 
will always remember who you are. Let them shuffle the numbers, watch them come and go. We're the ones who are out here, out past the edge of what they know. You can only be who you are Doesn't matter if they don't understand I'm your moon, you're my moon You go round and round From out here, it's the rest of the world It looks so small Promise me, you will always remember said you were no more sad excuse for a sunrise it's so cold out here ice and silence and dark skies as we go round another year Let them think what they like, we're fine I will always be right here next to you I'm your moon, you're my moon We go round and round From out here, it's the rest of the world It looks so small Promise me, you will always remember myself that I should just do a, a regular, regular show, and that people actually enjoy the regular show. It seems like it should be super special. I would even say spectacular. I'm doing the hits and a couple of my favorites that might not be necessarily hits, but as, as all rock stars know, you can't not play your hits. Are you opening or headlining? I'm headlining, yeah. Really? Yeah. Cool. You get a, a business card or you know, I think I MySpace do. thing or something? Or something? I'm on the MySpace, but I don't oh. use it very much, so that you should go to, come to my site. I'm yeah. I'm going to go I'm gonna go home and call somebody, and they're going to be like, you met who? <laughs> what? Who do? I don't, yeah. well, it depends on who they are. Um, I, uh, I uh, would like to invite some friends up to the stage. <laughs> Paul and Storm, are you out there in the darkness? <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Big hand for Paul and Storm. Hi, tiny camera. I'm getting the most awesome shot. They're totally using this in the video. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I have Paul and Storm up here because I feel, I feel very lonely sometimes. Also, I was afraid people weren't going to reference their set in the middle of my frickin' DVD shoot. Anything we can do to help, Jonathan? I, to I told you, every time that happens, that's you guys owe me 400 bucks. <laughs> hey, pay for itself! <laughs> uh, so, it's, uh, it's important that I have them here with me because now it is time to slow it down for the ladies. And sometimes, sometimes I get going so fast, way too fast for the ladies, that I can't, I can't possibly slow it down myself. So I need, I need Paul and Storm's help to slow, slow it down to a slow enough speed that the ladies will approve. So uh, this is a cover song.
I like big butts and I cannot lie You were the brothers, can't deny A girl walks in with an itty bitty waist And a round thing in your face You get sprung, you wanna pull up tough You notice that but we're stuffed Deep in the jeans she's wearing I'm hooked and I can't stop staring Oh babe, I wanna get with ya Take your pretty picture My homeboys tried to warn me But that butt you got made me so horny Ooh, rumple smooth skin You say you wanna get in my bins Well, use me, use me Cause you ain't that average groupie I've seen them dancing To hell with romancing Cause she's sweat, wet I got it going like a turbo vet I'm tired of magazines Saying flat butts are the thing Take the average black man and ask him that she got a pack much back, so fellas, yeah. fellas, yeah. says your girlfriend got the butt, tell yeah. her to shake it, shake it, shake that healthy butt, baby got that, baby got that, baby got that. Baby got back I like them round and big And when I'm throwing a gig I just can't help myself I'm acting like an animal But here's my scandal I wanna get you home And whoa, double up, whoa, whoa I ain't talking about Playboy Cause silicone parts are made for toys I want them real thick and juicy So find that juicy double Johnny C's in trouble Begging for a piece of that bubble I'm looking at rock videos Knock me bimbos Walking like hoes You can have them bimbos I keep my women like Flojo Word to the thick soul sisters I wanna get with ya I won't cuss or hit ya But I gotta be straight when I say I wanna Till the break of dawn Baby you got it going on A lot of simps won't like this song Cause them punks like to hit it and quit it But I'd rather stay and play Cause I'm long and I'm strong and I'm down to get the friction on So ladies, ladies If you wanna roll in my Mercedes Then turn around and stick it out Even white boys gotta shout Baby got back Baby got back Baby got back Baby got back I just want to point out the, uh, the uh, lady zombie with the pink hair. When I, when I sang the line, uh, when, I was, when I was doing the whole thing about some like to hit it and quit it. She was shaking her head like. <laughs> Those poor simps who hit it and quit it. <laughs> They're missing out on the best part, which is obviously staying and playing. <laughs> right? Uh, so now, who likes baseball? Okay, three, three people like baseball, good. Who likes history? Really? This is a song about the history of baseball. Uh, the, you may have uh, seen the movie or read the book Eight Men Out, which was about the... Uh, Chicago uh, White Sox scandal of 19... <laughs> when uh, Shoeless Joe Jackson and uh, some other uh, ne'er-do-wells. Hendrix, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I always have trouble when I try to introduce this song because I never really read the book or saw the movie or did any research. <laughs> So I confess that a lot of what I'm doing in this song is just attempting to get at, at the truth without really going through the facts. 
I think the spirit is there. Basically, it's called Kennesaw Mountain Landis. Kennesaw Mountain Landis was the commissioner of baseball uh, at the time, uh, and he, uh, he barred them from baseball for life for, uh, for throwing the World Series. Uh, and, uh, and this is not how it happened. I mean, it is, but in spirit, this is exactly how it happened. Kennesaw Mountain Landis was a bad motherfucker. He was 17 feet tall, he had 150 wives. He didn't do that much except he saved the game of baseball. He put two and two together and he noticed it was four. Now the treachery of Shoeless Joe can't hurt us anymore. It'll always be remembered as Kennesaw Mountain Landis. Fella named Joe Jackson was a fielder for the Black Sox And he always wore his black socks, but he never wore no shoes Weren't the nicest fella, and he had a couple problems Cause he drank a lot, and he beat his wife, and he always acted rude Killed and ate some babies, and he copped an attitude And the one man that he hated most was Kennesaw Mountain Landis The Mafia said shoeless Joe you should really run this show You should be the guy who owns baseball All you really gotta do Is help us make a buck or two We'll bet on the other team you lose a game But make it seem like nothing could be further from the truth Shoeless Joe did what they said He dropped a couple fly balls And he walked up to the pitcher And he poked him in the eye in the seventh inning, with the Black Sox nearly beaten, there is someone who is watching from his blimp above the stands, cradling a rifle in his thick and meaty hands. And as if you hadn't guessed it, it was Kennesaw Mountain Landis. Kennesaw said, drop that glove, or I swear by God above, I'll make you regret playing baseball. Shoeless Joe looked up and saw The silver rifle's gaping maw and Though no one had noticed yet His underwear was getting wet He peed himself in front of everyone That, I'm, I'm no, I know that's not true at all <laughs> In spirit it is, however Shoeless Joe was finished But he couldn't quite admit it So he raised his middle finger up above the other four and Kennesaw took careful aim and fired a single bullet and he shot that dirty finger off and he dropped his trusty gun and everybody in the stands knew that he had won and today they still refer to him as Kennesaw Mountain Landis Shoeless Joe left baseball and became a famous pop star And he asked the musical question, is she really going out with him? Had a couple albums and a comeback in the 80s But he never won a Grammy and he never was the same And he never could be satisfied with critical acclaim Cause the critics all confused him with the great Elvis Costello Yes, the critics all confused him with the great Elvis Costello. Yeah. History, motherfuckers, history. Yeah. And baseball, also baseball, yes, sure. Now, uh, I have to ask you guys for a little help. As if, as if you hadn't, hadn't given me enough already, honestly. What do I, who do I think I am? But... Uh, guys, seriously, I'm running out of money here. <laughs> Actually, hold on a second, let me try something. Maybe, it, maybe I sold the relax and be yourself a little bit too hard. <laughs> maybe they should be a little more scared. Anyway, I, 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 uh, I, need a, I need an assistant from the audience at this point. You don't even know, you don't even know what, it's gonna, what we're going to do. It could be really embarrassing. 
This guy's like, I'm on it. Yeah, watch out for that, watch out for that camera. Uh, it's, it, that camera. That camera is very interested in getting a shot of you, my friend. Uh, what is your name, sir? Andy Bates. Andy, oh, it's Andy Bates. Yes. Have I corresponded with you, Andy Bates? I was asking you for a ticket, and I got one. You got, Andy Bates got a ticket, everyone. Um, what I do need to ask you is, do you have a good, a good robot voice? Yes. Okay. So why don't you actually make yourself at home, have a seat on this couch. Are you all enjoying my parlor of wonders? Andy Bates is going to sit here with Waldo, and oh, Andy, if you, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, just read and sign that release, please. It's not a, you don't even really need to read it, it's a standard thing, it protects both of us, blah, blah, blah. It says that you, you give up the right to et cetera, et cetera, and I can't, and if it's not true, it is true, and then it's good. So just... So this, this song is, uh, this is a Christmas letter that you might receive from uh, a family who was imprisoned on an asteroid by robots. <laughs> and the name of that asteroid is Chiron Beta Prime. Hold on, Andy Bates is getting a photo. No, take your time, Andy. It's not like there's a crew of 20 people or anything. This year has been a little crazy for the Andersons. You may recall we had some trouble last year. The robot council had us banished to an asteroid That hasn't undermined our holiday cheer But we know it's almost Christmas By the marks we make on the wall That's our favorite time of year Merry Christmas from Chiron Beta Prime Where we're working in a mine for a robot overlords Did I say overlords? I meant protectors Merry Christmas from Chiron Beta Prime. Andy Bates? Yes. How you doing? Doing great. Good. You feel comfortable? I do. Do you need a doll or anything? <laughs> do you need another doll? On every corner there's a giant metal Santa Claus Who watches over us with glowing red eyes They carry weapons and they know if you've been bad or good Not everybody's good but everyone tries And the rocks outside the airlock Exude ammonia scented snow It's like a winter wonderland Merry Christmas from Chiron Beta Prime where we're working in a mine for a robot overlords Did I say overlords? I meant protectors Merry Christmas from Chiron Beta Prime You want to sing the solo, Andy Bates? Andy Bates, human keyboard. Oh, Paul left the stage. Ready? Here we go. You ready for your part? You know what you're doing? That's all the family news that we're allowed to talk about. We really hope you'll come and visit us soon. I mean, we're literally begging you to visit us, but make it quick before they... Message redacted. <laughs> Now it's time for Christmas dinner. I think the robot Santa supply. You know I love my soil and green. Merry Christmas from 
Chiron Beta Prime Where we're working in a mine For a robot overlords Did I say overlords? I meant protectors Merry Christmas From Chiron Beta Prime Andy Bates, everyone! I, I think the, uh, the title on the DVD case is now going to be Jonathan Colton live in San Francisco at the Great American Music Hall featuring Andy Bates. <laughs> except, except he signed the release. Uh, at this point, uh, I wonder if Kristen Schertz is around. <laughs> Kristen, would you please head on up here? Give her a big hand, please, Kristen Schertz. Uh, Kristen, uh, some, some time ago I held a, a remix contest uh, for the song Code Monkey. Uh, and, and Kristen did a, did a remix using the, uh, this is called a ukulele. Uh, and uh, she did it uh, featuring that, and it was, a, it, was a, it was a great remix, and she won. And, and, uh, and she lives in New York, and so we, we play f together uh, frequently in New York. When I play in New York, I like to uh, invite her to play along because it's, it's fun to have ukulele on stage. <laughs> uh, so I'm very happy that she's joining us tonight. I actually have to switch to electric bass guitar. So maybe, maybe while I do that, we can do some sort of crazy uh, camera flyover with the jib. You guys just like go nuts and stuff. <laughs> oh no, they spotted each other. <laughs> And it's mating season. <laughs> That's porn music for the cameras. So, so uh, you know, fame, fame is, a, is a difficult thing. Sure, it looks awesome. It looks like I'm having a good time, but I'm not. I'm crying inside. I'm crying and dying inside. Uh, listen, you, I've already explained to you the kinds of dreams that I have. You, <laughs> So, you know, it's tough, but as, as, as difficult as it is for me and Paul and Storm and Kristen Schertz and Andy Bates, it is even more difficult for somebody who is really famous. We have no idea. I'm talking, of course, about Tom Cruise. That was anonymous yelling out from the crowd. I'm not going to say anything about Scientology. You know, I, I, feel, I feel sorry for Tom Cruise, I really do. He's got, a, he's got a pretty good, I guess, but does he? Anyway, this is called Tom Cruise Crazy. I'm going to be playing the bass, and I'm probably going to make a lot of mistakes. Ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Tom Cruise is so in love with Katie At least all his people tell him so And while he thinks that she's a very special lady It's probably not the way he'd choose to go But a lifetime of longing looks Cause too much distraction Good thing that he's... Sorry, I'm sorry. I've made too many mistakes. No, I just, I, just pa I just felt myself passing the threshold of two mistakes. And I felt like I was not going to be able to bring it back. And nobody's, nobody's here to do this for me. When nobody had amassed enough energy yet, so there was no... Let's try this again. Let's all pretend that didn't happen. 
Oh, thank you, thank you, yes. Uh, Tom Cruise, blah, 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 nothing about Scientology. Hmm. And then... A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Tom Cruise is so in love with Katie. At least all his people tell him so. And while he thinks that she's a very special lady, it's probably not the way he'd choose to go. But a lifetime of longing looks would cause too much distraction. The good thing that he's not gay anymore. Tom Cruise is Tom Cruise crazy Just be glad it's him, not you If you had Tom Cruise's trouble You might be Tom Cruise crazy too You'd flash your big white shiny smile You'd buy expensive shoes Be the only man on earth who Couldn't enjoy Tom Cruise Tom Cruise is always getting older He knows he'll never be this young again And when Tom Cruise looks back over his shoulder He sees a thousand younger leading men And he knows someday he'll have to play an old retarded grandpa well, Someone younger plays his sexy son Tom Cruise is Tom Cruise crazy Just be glad it's him, not you If you had Tom Cruise's trouble You might be Tom Cruise crazy too You'd flash your big white shiny smile you buy expensive shoes but you'd be the only man on earth who I couldn't enjoy Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise hopes somewhere there's a place for him. Cause he is not of this world anymore. anymore. Somewhere in some secluded castle. Poor Tom Cruise sits staring at the wall And the outside world is always such a hassle He prefers to not go out at all There are millions who know his name Everybody loves him why is it that he feels so alone? And Tom Cruise is Tom Cruise crazy Just be glad it's him, not you If you had Tom Cruise's troubles You might be Tom Cruise crazy too You'd flash your big white shiny smile you buy expensive shoes But you'd be the only man on earth I couldn't enjoy Tom Cruise, oh no. You couldn't enjoy Tom Cruise, oh no. You couldn't enjoy Tom Cruise. Thank you. You know, I do get the question more often than I would like, where do you get your ideas? which is a, sort of a joke among creative people who get interviewed. It's not, a, it's not a great question, I'll be honest with you, because we don't know, <laughs> you know? I understand why, you know, everybody's got an angle and it's usually the sort of geek angle. The geek angle is largely about the subject matter, you know, zombies and giant squids and robots and monkeys. Why do you write so many songs about giant squids and monkeys? And then on another level, it's sort of the business model you know, the creative commons and the internet thing and the 
internet rock star thing. But you know, it's, it's uh, I also sometimes feel like a serious musician, sometimes. And so it's nice to talk about that stuff too. Uh, this next one, this next song comes from uh, personal experience. Before I was uh, a singer-songwriter and internet superstar, uh, I wrote software for a living. Does anybody here write software? Anybody here more on the hardware side of things? All right, some people clap for both of those. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, I know, San Francisco, right? Uh, so. So th- <laughs> you guys really don't need us anymore at this yeah, point. Yeah, I right? really like... <laughs> just hand this guitar right into the crowd and then the hive mind will play it. We'll learn how to play it. <laughs> this is how it feels to write software for a living. It's called Code Monkey. Code monkey, get up, get coffee. Code monkey, go to job. Code monkey, have boring meeting with boring manager Rob. Rob say, Code monkey, very diligent, but his output stink. His code not functional or elegant. What do Code monkey think? Code monkey think maybe manager wanna write goddamn login page himself. Code monkey not say it out loud. Code monkey not crazy, just proud. And code monkey like Fritos. Code monkey like Tab and Mountain Dew. Code monkey very simple man with big warm fuzzy secret heart. Code monkey like you And code monkey hang around at front desk Until your sweater look nice And code monkey offer buy you soda Bring you cup, bring you ice You say no thank you for the soda Cause soda make you fat Anyway, you busy with the telephone, no time for chat. Code monkey, have long walk back to cubicle. He sit down, pretend to work. Code monkey, not thinking so straight. Code monkey, not feeling so great. And code monkey, like Fritos. Code monkey, like Tab and Mountain Dew. Code monkey, very simple man. Big, warm, fuzzy, secret heart Code monkey like you Code monkey like you A lot Code monkey have every reason Get out this place Code monkey just keep on working See your soft pretty face Much rather wake up, eat a coffee cake Take bath, take nap This job fulfilling in creative way Such a load of crap Code monkey says someday he have everything Even pretty girl like you Code monkey just waiting for now Code monkey says someday Somehow and code monkey like Fritos Code monkey like Tab and Mountain Dew Code monkey very simple man The big warm fuzzy secret heart Thank you. (laughs) 
So um, we're going to do something. We're, I'm going to do a song now that uh, has a little stage business because I, we need to create a little atmosphere. This is a scary song. Uh, so uh, I'm going to have to get some props ready. I hope you'll bear with me. So I just want to say, if anyone is, is sensitive to scary things, particularly sensitive ladies, may want to leave the room for this song, because as you can tell, it's very scary. We should be out of oxygen in about two minutes. I can't even see my set list anymore. <laughs> this, song, this song is about a, a doll which is creepy and which follows you around. And it is called Creepy Doll. Oh. Yes. In a town in the woods at the top of a hill There's a house where no one lives So you take a big bag of your big city money there And buy it But at night when the house is dark And you're all alone There's a noise upstairs At the top of the stairs there's a door So you take a deep breath and try it And the flashlight shows you something moving Just inside the door there's a tattered dress and a feeling you have felt somewhere before. And there's a creepy and doll. There's a creepy doll. Oh, oh, it's well that you. It's got a ruined eye. Ruined eyes always open. And there's a creepy doll. And there's a creepy doll. Oh, it's well that you. It's got a pretty mouth. It's got a pretty mouth. Swallow you whole. So you scream and you head downstairs and you tell yourself it was just a dream. In the morning you head into town cause you wanna go antiquing. At the store there's a strange old man with a wandering eye and a withered hand. As he hands you the old wooden box you can hear his old bones creaking. And the flashlight shows you something moving just inside the door. There's a tattered dress and a feeling you have felt somewhere before. And there's a creepy and doll. And there's a creepy doll. That always follows you. It's got a ruined eye. It's always open. And there's a creepy doll. That always follows you. It's got a pretty mouth. 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 Swallow you whole. And when you come home late, the doll is waiting. The doll is in your house and in your room and in your bed. The doll is in your eyes and in your arms and in your head. And you are crazy.
Now it's late and you head downstairs Cause you just can't sleep so you make some tea And the doll disapprovingly asks if you really need that much honey You decide that you've had enough And you lock the doll in the wooden box You put the box in the fireplace next to your bag of big city money As the smoke fills up your tiny room There's nothing you can do and far too late you see the one inside the box is you And there's a creepy and doll, a creepy doll that, that always follows you He's got a room He's got a room with eyes always open And there's a creepy and doll He took my bucket. Uh, yes, uh, Paul and Storm, everyone, please give them another big hand. Kristen Shirts, everyone. So, uh, I did a project called Thing a Week where I recorded a new song every week for a year. Sometimes I was forced to do a song that didn't make any sense to me. This, this song is from one of those weeks. I'm still not exactly sure what it's about, some sort of moral lesson involving a, a parade and an award for the fanciest pants. I don't know what happens. Anyway, the point is, this thing I had to, I had to buy because it's too short a song and it's too hard to play on the acoustic guitar, so. <laughs> also, I really wanted this thing. This is called a Zen drum, by the way. You should purchase one because it's frickin' awesome. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. Uh, anyway, this is called Mr. Fancy Pants. Chances are your pants are not as fancy as the pair The very fancy pants that Mr. Fancy Pants will wear When everybody's marching in the Fancy Pants Parade He's gonna pass the test, he's gonna be the best The best in terms of pants You look in every catalog, you shop in every store but Even though you have a hundred pants, you want some more and Suddenly you see the greatest pants you've ever seen Even though you know it's gonna cost a lot of dough You have to have the world's best pants Say a little prayer for Mr. Fancy Pants the whole world knows it's only close and deep inside he's sad.
Chances are your pants are not as fancy as the pants. Chances are your pants are not as fancy as the pants. Chances are your pants. Chances are your pants. Chances are your chances are your chances. Chances 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 are your pants are not as fancy. Chances are your pants are not as chances are your pants are not as fancy. Everybody's pants. Every 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 everybody's pants. Chances everybody everybody's pants. Everybody's fancy. Chances are your pants are not as fancy. Best in best in best in best in best in best every best every chances are your best every chances are your best every chances are your chances are your best in everybody's pants. Make the big announcement and the trophy goes to you. You thought you had some fancy pants and now you know it's true. You look at Mr. Fancy Pants and hold the trophy high. Everybody cheers while he's blinking back the tears. He doesn't even have the best pants. Say a little prayer for Mr. Fancy Pants. It's all he had, but don't feel bad. He do the same to you. Pants. Thank you. Uh, give me a second while I tune here. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, shut up now. Uh, so this next one, uh, this is a song about a giant squid who hates himself. It is called I Crush Everything. You float above In the pretty white ships That I've been dreaming of And I'd like to swim beside you Getting dizzy in your wake Getting close enough to touch you Getting brave enough to take you into my arms And bring you down to be with me but I can't do that thing anymore I can't be the thing I was before Maybe I am better off alone Because I crush everything And I crush everything And I crush everything My will is weak I got pretty nice arms But I hate my beak And the dolphins are all phonies They seem nice enough at first But they pretend to be your friend Until they see you at your worst And then they leave you Without a word They swim away so I can't do that thing anymore I can't be the thing I was before Maybe I am better off alone Because I crush everything And I crush everything And I crush everything And everything I want I take but everything I love, I break And every night I lie awake Did the stars come out? Did the world spin round? Does it matter that much when you're 10 miles down? And in the light that filters down into my giant yellow eye, I can see the sails unfolding, stretching wide against the sky. And I forgive them, 
I forgive and I let go I can't do that thing anymore I can't be the thing I was before Maybe I am better off alone Because I crush everything and I crush everything and I crush everything Pretty white ships that I am dreaming of. Welcome to my secret lair on Skull Crusher Mountain. I hope that you've enjoyed your stay so far. I see you've met my assistant Scarface. His appearance is quite disturbing, but I assure you he's harmless enough. He's a sweetheart, calls me master, and he has a way of finding pretty things and bringing them to me. Oh, and I. My henchmen think I'm crazy I'm not surprised that you agree If you could find some way to be a little bit less afraid of me You'd see the voices that control me From inside my head Say I shouldn't kill you, yeah I made this half pony, half monkey monster to please you But I get the feeling that you don't like it What's with all the screaming? You like monkeys and you like ponies Maybe you don't like monsters so much Maybe I use too many monkeys Isn't it enough to know that I ruined a pony Making a gift for you oh, I'm so into you, but I'm way too smart for you. Even my henchmen think I'm crazy. I'm not surprised that you agree. If you could find some way to be a little bit less afraid of me, you'd see the voices that control me from inside my head say I shouldn't kill you. Picture the two of us alone inside my golden submarine While up above the waves my doomsday squad ignites the atmosphere And all the fools who lead their foolish lives may find it quite explosive <laughs> Well it won't mean half as much to me if I don't have you know it isn't easy living here on Skull Crusher Mountain So maybe you could cut me just a little slack Would it kill you to be civil? I've been patient, I've been gracious And this mountain is covered with wolves Hear them howling, my hungry children Maybe you should stay and have another drink Think about me and you Just you guys on this one Should 
mythological monsters Graphic terrified mathematician Every one of them is a splinter in my eye I hate the Pinot space and the Coke curve I fear the Cantor ternary set And the Serpinski gasket makes me wanna cry But a million miles away A butterfly flapped its wings on a cold November day A man named Benoit Mandelbrot was born And his disdain for pure mathematics and his unique geometrical insights Left him well equipped to face those demons down he saw that infinite complexity Could be described by simple rules He used his giant brain and he turned the game around And he looked below the storm And saw a vision in his head A bulbous pointy form He picked his pencil up and he wrote his secret down Take a point called Z in the complex plane Let Z1 be Z squared plus C And Z2 is Z1 squared plus C And Z3 is Z2 squared plus C And so on if the series of Z's will always stay Close to Z and never trend away That point is in the Mandelbrot set Mandelbrot set You're a Rorschach test on fire You're a Daglo-Pterodactyl you're a heart-shaped box of springs and wire You're one badass fucking fractal And you're just in time to save the day Sweeping all our fears away You can change the world in a tiny way Mandelbrot's in heaven At least he will be when he's dead Right now he's still alive and teaching math at Yale Gave us order out of chaos It gave us hope where there was none And his geometry succeeds where others fail If you ever lose your way A butterfly will flap its wings From a million miles away A little miracle will come to take you home Take a point called Z in the complex plane Let Z1 be Z squared plus C Everybody! And Z2 is Z1 squared plus C And Z3 is Z2 squared plus C And so on if the series of Z's will always stay Close to Z and never trend away That point is in the Mandelbrot set Mandelbrot set You're a shock test on fire You're a Daglo pterodactyl you're a heart-shaped box of springs and wire You're one badass fucking fractal And you're just in time to save the day Sweeping all our fears away You can change the world in a tiny way And you're just in time to save the day Sweeping all our fears away You can change the world in a tiny way Go on, change the world in a tiny way Come on, change the world in a tiny way I've also gotten a number of emails from people today who I can tell are new. I'm an attorney that's a musician. Your switch from coder to professional musician gives me some hope. Thank you for following your dream. I also followed my dream of trying to build the world's first alien theme park in Roswell, New Mexico. I went to Princeton and then did a PhD in biophysics. Before leaving it to become a filmmaker, I now live in LA. I don't feel like I have any particular secret or expertise. You know, I kind of feel like a lot of it was luck. And, and then I get these emails from people and they're like, oh, how do, how do you do this? And I don't know, <laughs> you know? but I am a, I'm a big believer in in, uh, in doing what you're supposed to be doing, or doing what you want to do as much as possible. And uh, uh, you know, sometimes I feel a little bit guilty about how you know I sort of have the luxury of believing that that's the correct path because it worked out well for me. You know, but I don't know if it I don't know if it does always work out well for people. So. That's a weird thing, but it's nice. I, you know, I love getting emails like that. I like to think that gets the wheels turning. Uh, this this next one is a uh, this is a very personal song for me. This uh, this is about becoming a parent, which I did uh, almost three years ago now, for the first time. Thank you. Thank you. 
And you know, it, it's true what they say. It is a, it is a life-changing experience, and it's, it's wonderful and uh, very rewarding. Um, but they don't always mention to you how much it screws you up when it happens. <laughs> I mean, they do kind of, and there's, you know, there's all these jokes about not, not getting any sleep, and oh, you'll never go out anymore, and you're kind of like, oh, ha, 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 yeah. Mm. <laughs> you know, and then, and then there's an actual baby. Suddenly there's like a real baby in front of you that's alive and moving and a baby. And, and they send you away from the hospital way before you're ready to leave the hospital <laughs> with your new baby. They're like, good luck! <laughs> Keeping this human baby child alive without ever having done that before. Uh, you know, and so, and then, and then it's like you, you gradually, you, you start to realize that it's real over the course of, I don't know how long it takes, it's probably different for everybody. And, and your old self is, is torn apart piece by piece until you don't exist anymore. You are just there to keep this thing alive and you don't even, you don't even remember who you were or anything. Uh, and, then, and then, of course, gradually you come out of it because, uh, because this, this baby becomes a child that you love and, and that is part of your family. And, and, uh, and it's, like this, it's like this amazing thing. You're like rebuilt from nothing, you know? So anyway, it's, uh, that's sort of what I was trying to get at with this song. And, uh, I need to pick a different title because it sounds like it's a funny song, and it's not. It's called You Ruined Everything. <laughs> was fine I pulled myself together just in time to throw myself away once my perfect world was gone I knew you ruined everything in the nicest way You should know how great things were before you, even so, the better still today. Now I can't think who I was before you ruined everything in the nicest way. in the road remind us the worst of the best behind us only good things will find us me and you days will be clear and sunny we're gonna need more money and baby you know it's funny all those stories coming true Despite my better efforts, it's all for you. The worst kind of cliche. I'll be with you till the day you leave. You ruined everything in the nicest way. Do you guys know anything about zombies? <laughs> this is going to be my last song of the evening, I'm afraid. I, total, I totally delivered that news in the wrong order. <laughs> and now let's pretend to be zombies. Uh, there's some audience participation here, as you, as you may know. Uh, there's a part for you to sing. It's it's pretty easy. Uh, it's set off by this little guitar part. I will I will show you how it goes. All we want to do is be Very nice. 
nice, very full. You're right, you guys sing wonderfully. It's really quite beautiful to hear you all singing together. Um, the only thing is, you're zombies. So, you know, just remember that you're zombies and kind of zombie it up a little bit because, you know, you can't sing. You, <laughs> you want brains. That's, that's, the, that's the, your entire motivation is you want brains. How you, get there, how you get there is up to you. I don't really care. You don't even have to sing words. You don't have to sing at all. You can just make zombie noises. We just want a little more chaos in here. Let's, let's try it. Let's try it one more time. Ready? That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect because it's unrecognizable. That's excellent. You've done the right thing, I assure you. Uh, so let's let's try this uh, let's try this song a classic zombie story uh, humans inside zombies outside trying to get in brains brains always with the brains <laughs> and uh, the twist is of course that uh, the head zombie who is singing the song used to work with one of the humans inside and he's always been kind of a jackass <laughs> hey you Tom it's Bob from the office down the hall Good to see you, buddy, how have you been? Things have been okay for me Except that I'm a zombie now I really wish you'd let us in I think I speak for all of us When I say I understand Why you folks might hesitate To submit to our demands but here's an FYI, you're all gonna die screaming. We're not unreasonable, I mean, no one's gonna eat your eyes. We're at an impasse here, maybe we should compromise. If you open up the door. We'll all come inside and eat your brains And I don't want to nitpick, Tom, but is this really your plan? Spend your whole life locked inside a mall Maybe that's okay for now, but someday you'll be out of food and guns And then you'll have to make the call not surprised to see you haven't thought it through enough You never had the head for all that bigger picture stuff But Tom, that's what I do And I plan on eating you slowly We're not unreasonable I mean, no one's gonna eat your eyes But we're at an impasse here, maybe we should compromise. If you open up the doors, we'll all come inside and eat your brains. I'd like to help you, Tom, in any way I can. I sure appreciate the way you're working with me. I'm not a monster, Tom. Well, technically I am. I guess I am. I've got another meeting, Tom. Maybe we could wrap this up. I know we'll get to common ground somehow. Meanwhile, I'll report back to my colleagues who were chewing on the doors. I guess we'll table this for now. I'm glad to see you take constructive criticism well. And thank you for your time. I know we're all busy as hell. And we'll put this thing to bed when I bash your head open. We're not unreasonable, I mean no one's gonna eat your eyes. We're at an impasse here, maybe we should compromise. If you 
open up the doors We'll all come inside and eat your brains Thank you so much, San Francisco. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you. A couple more numbers for you here. Uh, this is a song about a man named George Plimpton. George Plimpton, man of letters, journalist, doer of things. This is uh, uh, what would happen if you ran into the ghost of George Plimpton in a bar and he gave you some advice about how to live your life. It's called A Talk With George. There's a tall, thin man standing in the shadows When he calls your name, his voice is strong and clear It's a dark and smoky place, so you can't quite see his face Pulls you close and whispers in your ear And he tells you he was born into some money But it didn't mean he had to sit around And he knows a thing or two About the things that you should do If you don't want to take life flying down First of all, hang out a lot with him Spend some time fighting bulls in Spain You should go three rounds with Archie Moore and Sugar Ray It's so damn scary, you won't mind the pain Be ringside at the rumble in the jungle Make friends with Hunter S. and Jackie O when they shoot poor Bobby down, you wrestle Sir Ham to the ground. Love your friends and miss them when they go. You should write a book or two and start a magazine. Even if it never makes a dime. You should swing out by your feet above the circus ring. At the very least, throw parties all the time. Time and tide will never care It's not so far from here to there We just go So enjoy yourself and do the things that matter Cause there isn't time and space to do it all Love the things you try, drink a cocktail, wear a tie Show a little grace if you should fall Don't live another day unless you make it count There's someone else that you're supposed to be and There's someone deep inside of you that still wants out and Shame on you if you don't set it free
Uh, I need to, we need to do a little bit of setup here, um, and uh, I need to bring some, some friends to the stage. Uh, the, the first one I would like to bring to the stage uh, is uh, the, the host of This Week in Tech. His name is Leo Laporte. Come on up, Leo. How are you? <laughs> He's not kidding around. I, I can assure you of that. Um, uh, and, and next we have uh, blogger extraordinaire and uh, internet personality. And uh, I don't know. What else can you say that hasn't already been said about Merlin Mann? And finally, last but certainly not least, the lovely and talented host of Mahalo Daily, Veronica Belmont. I think you may have guessed what is about to happen. I guess it's I guess it's uh, it's officially announced now. This song uh, "Still Alive" is coming out uh, in in rock band, and I'm very excited about it. And we we are now going to attempt to get all the way through it. We'll see how it goes.
Court, Merlin Mann, Veronica Belmont. Song fan. 99% complete. That's an A plus, baby. That's an A plus. Thank you, guys. Oh, man, I'm giddy. I'm giddy. And we'll, we're going to do a couple, couple more for you. Paul, Paul and Storm, of course. Back on stage. This is called I Feel Fantastic. Get up early when the sleeping pill wakes me. Take a wake up pillow filled with energy. Now I run hard and I check my messages, but I don't have any messages. I take a driving pill and head to my car. Drive around the because work isn't very far. I call my phone and I check my messages, but I don't have any messages. All I know is driving on drugs feels better when they're prescription. All I know is the world looks beautiful, the world looks so damn beautiful. And I feel fantastic And I never felt as good as how I do right now Except for maybe when I think of how I felt that day When I felt the way that I do right now And I feel fantastic And I never felt as good as how I do right now Except for maybe when I think of how I felt that day When I felt the way that I do right now Right now Work is anything but quiet these days Try to medicate my concentration haze I can feel the day unfold in front of me I take the stairs and hit the gym The phone is ringing when I get to my desk What was a sting? It's now a sharp pain in my chest So I take a calm and next and just chill And then it's time for lunch again All I know is work is easy If you don't stress out about deadlines All I know is to take my medicine I always take my medicine and I feel fantastic And I never felt as good as how I do right now Except for maybe when I think of how I felt that day When I felt the way that I do right now And I feel fantastic And I never felt as good as how I do right now Except for maybe when I think of how I felt that day When I felt the way that I do right now Right now Sometimes I'd like to slow things down Enjoy the moment but when I look, the moment's gone. Work is over, but I can't stay to work late. Gotta leave and get ready for my second date. With a pretty girl that I met at the pharmacy. Right in the prescription line, I take a pill for my social anxiety. Get a table and a nice bottle of Chablis. Now it's getting late and there's still no sign of her. I have another glass of wine, all I know is the wine lasts longer when you don't gotta share it with someone. All I know is my steak tastes better when I take my steak taste better pill. And I feel fantastic, and I never felt as good as how I do right now. Except for maybe when I think of how I felt that day, when I felt the way that I do right now. And I feel fantastic. And I never felt as good as how I do right now Except for maybe when I think of how I felt that day When I felt the way that I do right now Right now, right now All right, this is the last one, seriously Seriously the last one No, for reals, for reals Um, but I, I, I want to thank you so sincerely from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I, I have been very nervous about this evening, and uh, I did have a terrible nightmare about a concert last night, and <laughs> the opposite of that terrible nightmare happened uh, tonight. So thank you for that. Um, uh, and I will be back very soon. I love San Francisco. Thank you. Uh, oh, go on, come on. <laughs> uh, this is a song about springtime. I woke up this morning 
had a scone in a large house blend. Then a little conversation with my squirrel and chipmunk friends. Said I'm sick and tired of winter and I wish that it was spring. Then a little fella named Robin Redbreast began to sing. And he sang, Ooh, child, would you think the cold winter's gonna last forever? Ooh, child, now's the time for all the people to get together outside. Cause it's the first of me, first of May. Outdoor fucking starts today. So bring your favorite lady, or at least your favorite lady. The water's not cold, baby, dip in your big toe. Maybe I'll see you in flagrante delicto. Grass below you, sky above. Celebrate spring with a crazy little thing called a fucking outside. I thanked him for the information. I cried a little when he flew away. I watched an episode of the People's Court and I tried to plan my day. I called up my old lady, she wasn't home so I called my girl I asked her if she'd like to join me as I entertain the world And I said, ooh child, I'll bring a blanket and I promise I will brush the ants off Ooh child, you're gonna like it when we're taking each other's pants off Outside, cause it's the first of me First of May, outdoor fucking starts today. So bring your favorite lady, or at least your favorite lady. The water's not cold, baby, dip in your big toe. Maybe I'll see you in flagrante delicto. Grass below you, sky above. Celebrate spring with a crazy little thing called a fucking outside. We went to the park together We were walking in the midday sun We met all kinds of people And we, we fucked everyone We fucked a lady who sells ice cream We fucked a man with a tan sharpay Everyone who needed fucking well They, they got fucked today So come on Child, open your minds and your hearts Feel the spirit moving through you Ooh, child, you feel the warmth of the love When I stick it to you Outside Cause it's the first of me First of May Outdoor fucking stuff today Oh yeah so Bring your favorite lady Or at least your favorite lady the water's not cold, baby, dip in your big toe Maybe I'll see you in flagrante delicto Grass below you, sky above Celebrate spring with a crazy little thing called A fucking outside A fucking outside A fucking outside to mention uh, there's cake for everyone. Yes. I really, I feel like it could not have been more perfect. 100% I think would be less perfect than 99%. Yep, where's the fun in that? There's yeah. no fun in that. So where do you get all your ideas? <laughs> I'm <eating> cake. <laughs> I love that. I know, it's a creepy doll. It's a, it's it's a, a, what is no. no, it's a key. It's a silver key that has my name on it. Hello, I'm Trouble. 
Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming to my concert. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. You want to sort of just right there, right here. That's good. I came this close to not getting a ticket, and the only way I got a ticket out of it was because I wrote a script to check Craigslist every three seconds. You crazy for, for motherfucker! Now, you, I have to say, this is a nice, this is a nice piece of work you have here. Thank you very much. You didn't bring a, a name tag that says Tom for me. <laughs> it's actually a very good picture. Shall I mail you a copy? Yeah, I would love a copy. Ladies, please. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so, so much, much for coming. Fun. Thank yeah. you. There were so many surprises. Was really great. I had fun too. I was nervous great. about it, but I think it went very well. Yeah, it so. like a, you put on a really good show. What angels found and lost again, so big and round, such rare and sensuous blue. Lady Eberlin's moon, moon. a sweet repose. To hide where I suppose the world outside isn't true. Lady Eberlin's mama, can such a vision be real? What do you flowers conceal? Who knows what secret things your softer side has seen? Shaped like a lady, his shape. of heaven, earth, and all the worlds between. I wander somewhere in a round of make-believe and dream about the world I'm leaving for you, Lady Aberlin's moon. I wander somewhere in a row.